you Danny Best Talking. Good morning, Southern California. I'm Danny Best Talking with TBG Homes and Keller Williams Realty, and it's another beautiful morning here in Southern California. Amy, we have a special guest coming to us from Farmers Insurance live here in studio, Mike Navarre. Mike, good morning, and thanks for being here. And so Mike is here from Farmers Insurance. We're going to talk all about insurance today. Insurance is one of those things that we, you know, when you buy a house, one of the things you need is insurance. And we're going to talk about why. We're going to talk about the pitfalls um, that if you do not have the right policy, because sometimes we think, hey, it's all the same, right? But if you don't have the right policy, if you don't have the right guy leading you through that, then uh, you may not uh, achieve the results you want. So we're going to talk all about that today with Mike Navarre in just a minute. So, Mike, thanks again for being here and hanging out with us uh, in studio all morning. I know it's early. No problem. All right. So what a fun show today. We're talking all about insurance with Mike Navarre of Farmers Insurance. Mike, I didn't even get a chance to introduce you, and we already have a bunch of people calling in. So we'll introduce you in a minute, but let's get right back to Romick's question. So Romick, good morning. Welcome back to the Real Estate Zone. Thanks for holding on for us. So Mike's got a great answer for you. He's got some time, had some time to think about it. And, and the question really is, hey, I have a home in Glendale and uh, having a tough time getting it insured because it's in a high fire, uh, high brush area. So Mike, take it away. The California Fair Plan is layered on top of your normal fire insurance because they actually will not cover that. So you've got to have multiple policies. But there's out-of-state carriers. It's just where we go to solve this problem. And uh, you know you can contact the hotline here, and we'll tell you some of those carrier names. You can go to your broker. It's something that we broker out within Farmers, and uh, can uh, definitely manage that for you. And I want to introduce Mike. We got Mike Navar, Mike on the mic from Farmers Insurance. Mike, tell everyone about yourself and what you do, and and why that's different than everyone else. Because there's a lot of people doing insurance, just like there's a lot of people doing lending, just like there's a lot of people doing real estate. But we are the team of all stars in this industry, and we only have all stars on the show. So tell everyone why you are an all star in insurance. Okay, I will do my best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Robin and Danny, for having. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm really, really uh, pleased to be here. Uh, so, right, now this is my moment to brag about myself, not something I'm accustomed to doing. That's right. Um, and there are thousands of agents out here that do what I do. I think what uh, is unique about my agency and about myself is I, I understand accounting, I understand that financial services, and I understand insurance. So, um, and I'm a business owner with farmers, so it's, uh, this, this farmer's agency is, I've taken over from three agents who've retired from the business and located here in, uh, down the street from your location in Beverly Hills, you've got other locations. And so what sets me apart is that understanding accounting came from me managing five offices with H&R Block, understanding financial services came from me building a financial services practice with New York Life, and understanding insurance came from you know entering this business most recently several years ago through Allstate and now through this uh, 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 location that I've got with farmers. Excellent. That sounds that sounds fantastic. So I know you answered Romick's question really well. We're going to have some more questions. I want to talk a little bit more about insurance because uh, this is a topic that, uh, you know, a lot of people e either um, they just think like, hey, it doesn't really matter what policy I get. Let me just throw one in there to, to lock up my house, right? Um, because most people don't really understand all the different dynamics. So I just love to hear from you to educate our listeners because that's what we're here to do. I want to talk about three things today. Awesome. Um, one is the rookie mistake. Uh, Second would be an investor strategy. Okay. And then third really is what to look for in an insurance agent. I love it. I love it. Let's hit that. We love the list. We love the top three things. <laughs> the top three. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes we do the top ten like Letterman, but not today. <laughs> I don't know if we have enough time for today. So and, let's, and let's, the insurance topic is not as, as fun as Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You can throw pencils though. So let's hit it. What's number one? Talk to us. Uh, well, the, the classic rookie mistake is to underinsure. Okay. So, you know, we don't want this audience to underinsure. Um, and that, that comes up a lot. So a, a, a real estate buddy of mine told me this story about a condo owner and they had a mortgage company that was completely satisfied with the common policy of the condo. Sure. So that owner went ahead and did that um, without talking to an insurance agent. Literally one month into the ownership of their house, their washing machine broke and it flooded the downstairs and they now had to repair and clean up the entire downstairs. It was a huge ordeal for them. Ended up costing $30,000 because it was new flooring and that was not covered by a common policy at all. All oh, they needed man. to do was talk to an agent. The condo policies are, are sold for peanuts, really. It's really closer to a renter's policy than a homeowner's policy. Sure, yeah, they're pretty cheap. So underinsuring is a common thing, Ramey? Yeah, I want to talk about this really quick because this comes up quite a bit. And um, from a lending standpoint, 
we can't tell people how much to insure. We rely on the insurance agents. You know, if someone turns in a policy to me and my underwriter tries to tell me there's not enough coverage there, well, I immediately go back to my underwriter saying, we can't dictate the coverage. The insurance agent says, I, I can't make the borrower insure. I can't make them over-insure, under-insure, whatever the policy is. So I'm curious um, what you guys in, in, in the insurance world, what you're looking at when you go to put a policy together for someone. What, how do you guys figure out what the appropriate amount of insurance is? Like, what are all your check marks? Replacement cost is the biggest thing, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm curious with you, Ramey, do you actually look at the replacement cost the amount? Exactly. Yeah. So that's that's still very common. So um, now another thing that we look at is things that could be unique to that particular home. So another example is um, an older home, a home that uh, might have had some upgrades to it, and uh, uh, and this happened actually with an attorney friend. His client had a, a car crash into the home. Oh. Yeah. And. They had insurance, actually, so this is one of these positive, more uplifting stories, <laughs> right? which is great, right? So, so they did have the coverage and they did have the agent, um, and what they needed for this particular home was given to them, which was having upgrades to current uh, regulations. Because, and they had an older home and they needed that. So had they not had that, they, they, they would have had to only replace back to the old non-permitted structure. Uh, no sense. contractor is going to take that deal, right? And right. The, and the city is not even going to allow reconstruction. So they, sure. they were on the hook anyways, no matter what, for $50,000 of reconstruction cost, just because the agent had had them check off the box that they, that they were going to be upgrade to code with any repair, then they were fully insured for that loss. And Got it. So that's what we're going to look for. We're going to look at, at specific situations so that, that, that they're taken care of. Very cool, Mike. Well, guys, we got to take another quick break, but when we come back, you've given us the first thing, which is don't underinsure. When we come back, you're going to give us your top, your, your top number two and number three tips on insurance. So don't go anywhere. Come on back to the Real Estate Zone on Talk Radio 790 KBT. We got more with Ramey, and we got more with Mike Navarre of Farmers Insurance, and I'm your host, Danny Betzalk, and come on back to the Real Estate Zone. So, Mike, before the break, you gave us the first of your three uh, tips on insurance, which was really a rookie mistake on underinsuring, and that was a really great tip, and that made me think, hey, maybe I need to get my all my home insurance policies evaluated. Is that something you do? Like, if I already have a bunch of policies, can you look at them and say, oh, this one sucks, and you need a new one here, or things like that? Well, you know the answer to that is yes. Mm -hmm. It's a leading question. I'm put, I put my lawyer hat on, and I asked you a leading question. You like that? Well done. Well, <laughs> yeah, we do free consultations all the time. Awesome. All right, cool. So for our listeners, if you have a home, if you have a policy and you're thinking after what Mike just shared with you, the story he shared with you about a homeowner and it costed him 50 grand extra because he had the wrong policy. If you're thinking, hey, what about my policy? Now, when I read these policies, I got to tell you, I get a headache. So I want to just send them to my all-star uh, insurance agent and have you look at them for me. And that's, that's exactly what we do. We call it the Farmer's Friendly Review. And uh, but most of all, we'll sit down and we'll see what, what, where you want to go in life. And the policy should serve that. Awesome. All right, so give us your next tip. Tip number two out of three. Um, all right, this, this next thing is more investor strategy and just encouraging the, uh, your, your audience to not shy away from uh, putting their money into a, into a property because of the payoff that you can have on that. And insurance is something that, um, even though you're required to have, it's actually a strategic tool along the path of being a property owner. Um, so an advanced strategy is to also basically understand that the, the way to wealth is leveraging other people's money. So that's what they're doing with your mortgage company. That's what you're doing when you become a landlord. So for landlords, and you know, the richest people know this. I mean, Warren Buffett, he owns insurance companies. He owns real estate companies, as you that's know. Right. Um, and Donald Trump, friend of the show. Is he a friend of the show? He is. He doesn't know it yet, but he's a friend of the show. Uh, which actually, this touches on um, a, uh, and I'll jump right to this one, because with Donald Trump, uh, he's been in the news with having every one of his uh, properties owned under a separate LLC. Yes. So earlier this week, I met with uh, with, with my accounting friend Brian. Uh, he's one of the, the top guys over at H and R Block. He teaches other tax pros how to be, become a tax pro. Okay. And he's not a big fan of that strategy. Um, he thinks it's a waste to actually have LLCs because uh, of that many for individual properties because it's actually so easy to pierce the corporate veil. Uh huh. So if you own a property, you're going to get sued. That's what you need to plan for. And the cost of owning an individual LLC in California is $800 a year to the state regardless. Yes. So why do that when you could get some other insurance for even less than that that will 
add up to much more of a protection than you would perceive you would get from uh, putting your property in an LLC. You know, I actually have a question for you about this. I'm glad you brought this up because I own an, you know, I own investment property, you know, and then I have other things going on. So what you're saying is really, uh, it sounds like I should have an insurance policy that protects me for everything and not so much worry about a separate LLC for each property. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. And, and uh, what would you get? Like, I don't know, me hypothetically, you know, I have an investment property. I have a primary home. I have other stuff going on, kids, businesses. What do I need to cover all that stuff? Well, do you have an umbrella policy? I have no idea. Like I said, insurance gives me a total <laughs> headache. So what I do is I just call Elena and I say, Elena, what's happening? <laughs> Maybe Elena will respond to us on Facebook. Maybe right she now. will. Is Elena watching? I think Elena's sleeping today. Oh. <laughs> Maxim's probably watching. No, Maxim, what kind of what kind of insurance do we have? No, I think I think we do. I figured that you would. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm sure that you do. So. But the, the point about other people's money is it's, it's really the, the way that these smart people are, are making so much money. And banks. Banks actually own more cash value insurance than yeah. they own real estate property. Right. Um, and so yeah, to, to not be shy for as an investor to actually uh, take that leap and, and do that because there's so many benefits, um, as you know, of being a property owner. Um, so there's upside is unlimited when you own real estate. Sure. And we're here in insurance to limit the downside risk. Right, right. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So that's a great tip. The good thing to do there is, is to have a consultation. And I do want to mention, if you're interested in getting together with Mike, having a consultation, because as he said, he's got the Farmer's Friendly Review. I love that. Mm -hmm. The Farmer's Friendly Review. you got to pitch that, man. Uh, so that's good. So give us a call on the hotline number. We'll get you in touch with Mike, and he will hook you up with that Farmer's Friendly Review. There you go. Uh, M. Navar at FarmersAgent.com for your Farmer's Friendly Review. You like that? I do. All right. There we go. Good Great stuff. Time. So we got our first two tips, right? Don't underinsure and then talk about uh, talk about advanced investor strategies. Look at all this good stuff and all this good value we're giving you. But so Mike, let's just continue to rock it. Give us strategy number three. Okay, great. And you guys can weigh in on this one as well. The, the, Love the last strategy is what to look for in an insurance agent. Um, and it's very similar to what you've got in, in both your world of mortgage agents and with real estate agents. Um, so you want a person that's responsive, responsive knowledgeable, and has access to the best products. Yeah, I, I like that. I mean, that seems to make sense, right? Very in line with what we talk about all the time. Yeah, so I mean, response with someone that, uh, yeah, with us, we have a local team, uh, we answer questions, we shepherd you through the process at your most fragile time. And also with farmers, we're a California, Los Angeles based company. So all underwriting is done local, all claims processing is done local. So you're really getting the, be the best of all worlds and responsive rates, which is really quick. And as you know, in the mortgage world, um, you're going to want that insurance proof extremely fast and we're quick. We're just right down the street from a lot of uh, real estate offices in Beverly Hills. So we have a responsive um, reputation. I have to say, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is that, you know, when I'm trying to get an insurance policy binder, because initially people go out and they get their quotes, they do that right away. But then when we actually go to add, you know, we have to put our lost payee information so that, you know, the lender is taken care of and everything. And when we go to actually get the binder, sometimes insurance agents will take forever. And that's the worst, you know, we're trying to get stocks and everything. So the agents that respond the quickest, they're our favorite. Like they're who we love to work with because they're going to get us what we need when we need it right away, which it sounds like what you guys do. Uh, yeah, perfect. So, and that's, that's what people are looking for. To know that in advance is really important. Uh, and this is why having a team of all-stars around you is so important. You want an all-star lender like Ramey at Movement Mortgage. You want an all-star insurance agent like Mike Navarro over at Farmers to help you out because that's how you leverage. You know, you talked about leverage, Mike. This is how you leverage. You get a great team around you that's going to help you with everything that you need. So, um, th you know, those, those are some great points there that you made on what to look for in that insurance agent on the Real Estate Zone on Talk Radio 790 KABC. All right, Mike. Kicking butt, man. Doing great. Thank you.